Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia. I've got a tip for you today in Personas' Studio One that will hopefully help some of you guys out. One of the things that people ask me a lot of times is how can I route MIDI output from Studio One to an external keyboard and, uh, and cause for that keyboard to be played by Studio One? And uh, it's fairly easy to set up. It just requires a little bit of different routing from maybe what we're used to uh, It's in setting up some audio workstations. So let me show you guys how we're going to do this. And um, I don't currently have connected a audio workstation keyboard, which has uh, built-in sounds and things like that. So we'll just kind of have to use what I have as an example for you right now. So... I'm here in the Studio One uh, start panel, and the first thing that I want to do is I want to look at the Configure External Devices Setup box. When I click on that, that's going to open up my external devices setup. And you notice right now I don't have anything set up. So let's say that uh, you want to set up your audio interface to send MIDI output to an external keyboard. Let's go ahead and go through that. First thing you want to do is you want to add a new device. You want to start by adding your keyboard and you can either use any some of the presets that exist here in Studio One or you can just set up your own sort of default keyboard and call it anything that you would like. I'll just call mine keyboard. And after you've given it a name, just so you can keep track, you want to select if you want to send, if you want to uh, receive all of your MIDI data on all MIDI channels. So, what we're setting up right now is the MIDI input. This is for your keyboard running in to Studio One. So, I go, I would go ahead and just leave all of your MIDI channels enabled, and then here I would select in the Receive From section. You want to go ahead and pick the keyboard that you would like to have MIDI coming in from. So in my case, I have an Axiom 61. I'm going to select the MIDI in. Now, usually you would be used to selecting a Send To here, but in this case, I'm going to leave the Send To as None. And you can select Default Instrument Input here if you would like, if this is going to be your primary uh, keyboard instrument input. When you've set that up, go ahead and hit OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add another device. So click on Add. This time we're going to select New Instrument. And in this case, this will reflect your audio interface or your other MIDI device. So I'm just going to select this and call it MIDI Out. So this would be, again, your audio interface, or maybe if you have an external MIDI device or a MIDI clocking source, something like that. In this case, I'm going to leave the Receive From section open, but I'm going to click on the Send To, and I'm going to select a MIDI Out port in this case. And so this would be the MIDI Out port from, again, my audio interface. Now, the audio interface that I'm currently using actually doesn't have any MIDI Outs, but you notice I have a lot of other different MIDI ports here, so I can just go ahead and select one of those. I'll use my Euphonics MIDI port 1 here. And again, I'm going to go ahead and leave all MIDI channels selected. This will make things easier. Now, here's an important step, something that you'll want to make sure uh, that you take a look at. And that is enabling the options here for send MIDI clock and send MIDI timecode and also probably use MIDI clock start. All of these things are important for making sure that your MIDI device will send MIDI data out, which will start your keyboard, whatever kind of keyboard that may be. So when you've made those setups, go ahead and hit OK. So now we have two different devices. We have our keyboard coming in, and then we have our MIDI device out. So that should be all that we need now. Let's go ahead and create a new song. And I'll just call this Test. And we'll hit OK. OK, so now I have a new empty song here in Studio One. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the Add Tracks button and I'm going to just create one new instrument track. Something that you're going to notice in Studio One is that there are no specific MIDI tracks. There are mono tracks, stereo tracks, instrument tracks, and automation tracks. An instrument track, for those of you uh, who are used to using instrument tracks, is essentially just a MIDI track 
that can have or already has a software instrument assigned to it. Select instrument as your track type and hit OK. So now we have a new instrument and you can expand this a little bit just to get a better look at it. You're going to notice here that I have an instrument output and an instrument input pull down menu. And if I click on that, you're going to notice that right here on the top instrument output, I have the option for MIDI out. Now here I can select which MIDI channel I would like to send out on. And you notice the MIDI out again is what I named my MIDI output port, which would be on my audio interface or other device. And then of course, if I want to have MIDI in coming into Studio One, I would click on my input section here, I would select keyboard. So now you can see I have MIDI input input happening from my Axiom 61 and I can record that MIDI data, of course. So if I go ahead and record enable on my transport right here and I just start recording, there's some MIDI data. Now, if I play back from Studio One, and again, as I say right now, I don't have a device connected, which will actually give me sound output from MIDI, but if I play back from Studio One, what's going to happen is that MIDI data is going to be fed out of the MIDI out instrument output, which I have set up on the specific channel which I set up. So the only other thing that you're going to need to do here is make sure that your device, whatever device that may be, a Roland Phantom, a Yamaha keyboard, something like that, make sure that that device is set up to receive MIDI on the specific channel that you have selected in Studio One. As long as the device is set up to receive MIDI on that MIDI channel, and it is set up to receive MIDI time code, MIDI clock, and all those other various MIDI controls, which will tell that keyboard when to start playing, when to sync up with Studio One, things like that. You should be able to get MIDI output from Studio One to your external workstation. So try this out, experiment with it again. I know that this is a little different from the way that you might set things up in some audio workstations, uh, but I like this because it lets me keep track of my keyboard devices and also my MIDI devices rather than lumping everything all into the same um, device. So I hope that this is useful to you guys. As always, please stay in touch with me at brian at obedia.com. Find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obediatutor. And of course, on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obediatutor. Please give me a call to find out about a sign-up bonus to work beyond the tutorial, and I will help you to tame your technology, show you how we can work one-on-one -on -one with you on your own computer, and help you to work out all of the great things that you can do with your digital audio hardware and software. That's what we do here at Obedia. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next tutorial. Take care.